Wabonzi also hosting Neuqua and UEC play this week. Tanner Geisel and the Cats leading the Valley Division. Up 1-0 already in the first with Jeff Evac on second. Geisel decides it's time to trade places with Evac, belting the double. Soon after, Nick Irabino grounds out to C.J. Lee, but Geisel scores 3-0. U of I signee Nick Blackburn struck out the side in the first. No such luck in the second. Tyler Joseph hate doubling to right. A sack bunt would move him to third. Zach Steele hoping to come up big. He won't have to. The Blackburn wild pitch makes it 3-1. Third inning, 3-2 Wildcats. Mitch Stefani on third. Joseph Pate to the hot corner. Stefani scores 3-3. Three, three. Top four, runner on second. Jack Amaro looking to reach base for his third straight plate appearance. More importantly, he pushes across the go-ahead run. Second and third now, Dylan Goss plates two more through the four hole, 6-3 Cats. 8-3 now, Amaro continuing to mash. Two RBIs, three hits, three runs, and a walk. Five runs in the fifth for Niqua. Blackburn would do the rest in innings four, five, and six. He had 12 Ks, scattered four hits in a complete game. Julian Langford, can I help you? No, just browsing. Niqua would clinch the conference later in the week. You know, we keep getting those hits in clutch situations, and uh, it really helps us out. It helps our pitcher. He doesn't have to worry about throwing every pitch as a strike and locating. It really gives him some leeway, and I think that's nice for him. My fastball is the only thing working. My off speeds, uh, we're, we're just not there yet. But as the game went on, I started to get a feel for it more. And uh, we put more, uh, put a lot of run support up, and, um, you know, it just made my pitches that much that much easier to throw. Our pitching and defense has been good all year. So we just need to like, get the bats going, swing, and things will happen. We got a lot of speed uh, leading off with Jack and Jeff, and then uh, middle of the order is really starting to come through. And I mean, for playoffs, we're going to need everybody to hit, and uh, it's definitely coming together.